Let's find the antiderivative of 3 over x dx. So I know a lot of people's first idea on this is let's rewrite it with a negative exponent. Right? So we could say that's the same thing as 3 x to the negative first dx. And then a lot of people after they do this they're like let's use the power rule which seems like a good idea. So you're thinking initially 3 will increase the exponent by 1 so we'll go negative 1 plus 1 makes 0 then we'll divide by our new exponent and put a plus c next to it. But we run into a bit of a problem here, right? We're not allowed to divide by zero because that's undefined. And it takes work in a few of these to get used to this, that this is very special when we have x to the negative first power or just x to the first power in the denominator. All right, so in this case, it does work out to be a special case that it's not equal to this for our antiderivative, instead, the 3 can come along, and this is going to be the natural log of the absolute value of x with a plus c attached to the end. So you have to be a little bit careful on this. I know that everyone makes their mistakes as they're working with x to the negative first power, but as soon as you divide by that 0, hopefully bells and whistles go off and you're like, I can't do that. That's not allowed.